Hi everyone, this is Khadija from the Henna Sook. This is uh, Rasul clay. This Rasul clay um, is from Morocco and it is really good if you want to naturally like cleanse your hair like a, like a mud mask for your hair. Like the best way to use it is actually in the shower because it's actually even heavier than henna. So it's good to use it uh, right in the shower if you'd like to, to do that. If you are using it for a facial or a, you know a body you know body mask, you can also um, use it that way as well. And I usually do it in the shower personally um, because you can, you know it doesn't strip the natural oils from your skin or your hair. So you can use it uh, pretty much at least two to three times a week, if not uh, sometimes daily, if you're using it just to wash your face with it. And um, basically, uh, when I do it in the shower, I just leave it on for about like five minutes in the shower, and then I wash it out. Let's say I'm not in the shower and I'm just doing a mask, which I occasionally do like this once a week, then I might leave it on for like 15 to 20 minutes. And I've even ha seen uh, some people uh, also even smile while they have the mask on so that, you know, it, it keeps all everything all nice and tight and stuff. Our manager, Nadine, uh, used to um, do that as well. Like, she usually does her mask that way, her whole uh, natural treatment. And it's, uh, yeah, it's really nice, though. And the Rasul clay is it, just really nice and muddy and just the way it feels on the skin. It's just really, really nice and it cleans really, really well. Especially even those who have acne, you can add a little bit of tea tree oil and you're good to go. Okay, so for, for time's sake today, um, I'm going to use hot water from the tap. You can use boiled hot water uh, or like filtered hot water. You, it's up to your preference, even like a herbal tea if you want to. Just make sure the liquid has, actually has to be very hot so that it absorbs. So this is the clay. Um, here is my tap. I'll get a little nice and hot. Okay. And you can see, let's see, how much water I add. You only add enough water so it's like right above the clay. You don't want to add too much because if you add too, if you add, excuse me, if you, add, if you add too much water, it'll be too runny. It's easier to start with water just at level of the of the clay, and then let it absorb it. As you can see, look how fast it absorbs the water. There it goes. See that water just absorbing, just disappearing. Yeah, let it absorb it, and it and it takes about like maybe three to five minutes just depending on how much you're mixing up really and uh, let's put this back down and get a good look at the clay so yeah you basically just let that um, absorb it there's a lot of sun over there excuse me but to fall right into the mud so basically this is how you mix it up and let that absorb it loads or all the hot water you can add different oils as i was mentioning tea tree oil lavender black seed oil uh, there's so many different little uh, oils that you can use um, but remember don't use too much uh, oils especially if it's, a, if it's essential oil because you don't want to overdo it you have to be careful and, and take care of your skin and not uh, oh, you know overdo it if you put too much oils, I mean, you can end up burning, you know, your your skin, your face, and uh, you have to be really careful with that. Uh, like for this amount, this is about 200. This is a bit of a, a larger amount. But let's say it was a hundred gram package. I'd only add about maybe half a teaspoon of of oil, maybe even um, yeah, half a teaspoon. Usually would be enough. As you can see, it practically absorbed all that water. It's still a little runny, but it's getting there. It's getting there, just let it absorb a bit more, that water. I like to feel the temperature usually just to make sure it's all, you know, nice and um, warm still. So as it absorbs it, you'll see that it becomes really a really nice, you know, mud. It's becoming really, really soft. Very, very soft. We'll just leave that for a minute, and we'll be back in a second. All right, we're back, and as you can see, it is really, really, really muddy. <laughs> okay, this mud. So we turn it, and now at this point, you'll just really like mix it up really well. 
Oh, look at that. It's really nice. But it is, it is pretty thick. I mean, it, it is a bit too thick. So at this point, I probably would add a bit more water. Yeah, because it's, it's too thick. Let's add some more water. Just a little bit. And it's hot water again. Just a little bit. Because like I said, you don't want to get it to be too, too runny. You could also add preservatives if you're really into like making cosmetics and making masks. That would, this would be a really, really good idea to add a nice preservative. Uh, like sometimes people use vitamin E or they use grapefruit uh, extract. That's really, really good to have as a natural preservative. And then there you have it. This would be your Rasool clay. You'd be about ready to use it. What could, you could do at this point is you could package it up in uh, containers. You can resell it if you're using it for personal use. You can uh, package that up as well in, the, in a, a small container, uh, maybe even a Tupperware. But if you do get yourself a nice little container that you can regularly hold the Hosul mud in, that would be great. You probably could find one at the dollar store. And uh, keep it in the fridge if you feel like you'll be uh, keeping it in there more than, you know, a week or two. But let's say you make an amount just to last through the week. You should be okay with uh, keeping it in your bathroom um, and whatnot. And if you have any questions at all, please let us know. And uh, this is our presentation on Rasul Clay. Enjoy your mud mask. Trust me, if you use this product, you will fall in love with it. It's really beneficial for your face. Uh, it's traditionally used in Morocco as a spa treatment, and, and you'll re really like it, and uh, I don't think that you'd have any regrets with using this. Enjoy. Thank you.